Thanks. Come get a look up close. Guaranteed the freshest produce in the market. Tell me, how long has it been since I first came to this island? You've been here almost 40 years now. <sighs> and what the hell have I been doing all this time? You have been tasked with preserving all of creation. I get that, but still, how long do I have to keep this up? Let's say that when you gain the ability to replicate that ocean, your task will finally be complete. What? So this isn't good enough? You still need the awareness. Huh? You still need the awareness that it belongs to you. <sighs> Another thousand years, then. <clears throat> Are you feeling lonely? I'm bored, that's for sure. Why not return to the water? You can play with your friends in the sea. Cut it out. That was a horrible experience. I can't even eat fish anymore. That was another time I tried to fight back against it. <laughs> no. What is your dream, Fushi? You know what I always say. Do what you want to do, just like I did. After that, I made a decision. I wasn't going to see anyone anymore. I would live my life as a crab. Excellent choice. I see that you're going to try acquiring things that would be impossible while in human form. What the heck is this? Why? That species of crab had no eyesight. My memory after that becomes hazy. I took on all sorts of forms. The black thing tells me I traveled the ocean for about two years. I stayed buddies with this guy the whole time. He was kind to me, even though I couldn't see well. Once I quit being human, I didn't have to think hard about anything. I just picture the foods and scents that I liked, and occasionally I'd have to be on alert. That was it. But if this guy died, I'd be lonely again. And just as I was thinking that, he abandoned me. The knockers are here. I immediately remembered again, Pioran and the others. I remembered that I couldn't defeat the knockers by myself. These exploding arrows are useful. No way! There are still more knockers! The longer bow seemed to work better with Uro's body. But then suddenly, I'd be racked with guilt. I hated having to live my life on top of everyone's deaths. But at the same time, I didn't want to lose everyone, either.
The knockers kept coming. I fought them, defeated them, and ate them. Forty years. I wonder how everyone's doing. Rain and Tanari must be all grown up by now. <coughs> Stop it. I'm sure they're fine. Sorry to interrupt your sulking. Not again. Where are they now? They've already started rampaging, but not on this island. Why aren't they coming here? Maybe they've given up on you. Mm -hmm. Either they're trying to clear out everyone around you, or they're trying to lure you out. You mean, they're actually attacking people? Take me there! It's going to take you at least a month to get there. Are you going to fall for their provocations? Don't give me that! People might die! It's too late. People are already dying. <laughs> Damn it! Those worthless knockers! They're nothing but freaking cowards! You have to be smarter than they are! We're going. We're leaving the island. If that's what you want. I don't know. Will I be able to make it alone? No, I can't worry about that. I finally found you, Fushi. <clears throat> nice to meet you. I'm Hisame. My grandmother, Hayase, was in your debt. Grandmother? Hayase's grandchild? Yes. I've been tasked with leading the Guardians, who are here to protect you. That's why I came Hold to... on! How'd you find me? <coughs> <coughs> you won't believe how many places I've looked for you! And I am so excited that I've finally gotten to meet you! Get away from me! <sighs> Gee, you kinda smell pretty bad. There's a whole ocean over there, don't you, babe? What? <laughs> Never mind what I smell like! I'm sorry, but my mother taught me hygiene's important. Your mother? You mean Hayase's daughter? What happened to Hayase? Sadly, she passed away before I was born. <laughs> really? Hayase's dead, huh? I don't know why you're laughing. You were described in my grandmother's autobiography as an extremely kind person who values life above all other things. She wrote that. Did she also happen to write about how she killed two people I deeply cared for? Yes. It was an appropriate action. Appropriate action? How old are you, anyway? I'm nine years old. You don't understand anything, then. You poor kid. The grown-ups have you brainwashed. Sometimes it's good not to know certain things. It means I get to have brand new moving experiences for the first time in my life. Experiences about what's right and what's wrong. To learn about you and to learn about love. <gasps> okay, yeah, you're right. If that's all, I'll be going. I have to be somewhere. In that case, I'll go with you. As a guardian, I must protect you at all times from the monsters. <laughs> you, a nine-year-old? Don't come to me for help if the thing attacks Don't you. worry, I won't. Fine, suit yourself then. I will! <clears throat> hey, what's your deal? You're creeping me out, kid. Give me, like, five meters of space. I apologize. Come eat with us, Fushi. It's delicious. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have this. What's that you're eating, anyway? Homemade knocker jerky. No! <clears throat> don't do such a strange thing! Please, have some of this. No, thank you. I'm going to bed now. Have a good night's sleep. I've made some tea. Here! There's a hole in your pants. Shall I sew it up? Need help with your hair? Want me to scrub your back? Good. I'm far enough away. If I go to where the knockers are attacking, I might just attract even more of them. But I might be able to help people if I make good use of Hisame's group. Hisame. She may be Hayase's granddaughter, but she doesn't seem like a threat. must be the knocker's idea of a clever plan. What? He's been keeping that from me on purpose! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to surprise you or anything. My hand just moved on its own. Did you try to attack me? Guardian's my ass! 
I'll cut your arm off. Don't do that! My grandmother passed this knocker to my mom, and she passed it on to me! It's the very will of the Guardians! <sighs> it keeps itself alive by drinking my blood. Usually it does what I tell it to do. There they are. You see? It's okay now. You can communicate with it? Not really. But it understands what I'm saying. It understands who I am, and who I came from as well. Don't you see? I am the reincarnation of Hayase. What? My grandmother had told my mother that she would be born into my mother's womb. I'm truly sorry I woke you up. I'll go sleep over there. Uh. <clears throat> <sighs> to think the knockers and Hayase had come up with such a crazy relationship. No matter how far you run away, until you crush it, it will keep coming back to you forever. I don't care. It's for my peace of mind. Humans. They do come up with some remarkable methods to avoid dying. As long as the will is passed down, their existence is continued. Cut it out. If you keep it up, you're gonna mess up my mind with all that reincarnation stuff. What the hell is that thing, anyway? In order to animate an animal, you first need a vessel in the form of flesh, and the phi to fill it. The moving of Phi from one vessel to another may be what you would call reincarnation. Hang on! What... what's Phi? Phi is the name of the energy that moves a vessel. Throughout the years, many human beings have called it soul and spirit. You can sense it, I'm sure. It becomes noticeable the moment all the sensation coming from a living thing is completely erased <sighs> and becomes empty. When the vessel breaks, the Phi is then released. It becomes free to do as it wants, and go where it pleases, even into another vessel. So, Pieron and Gugu and March, and everyone else who died... They've each gone somewhere of their own will. <laughs> it wouldn't be surprising if Hayase had died with such strong intent that her fi would carry into the vessel known as Hisame. <clears throat> However, Hayase's memories were erased, so Hisame would be able to live as an almost entirely different person. Then, Hisame is Hisame, right? She isn't Hayase! Right. Does that bother you somehow? It's not as if she was the one who killed March and Verona, but I don't feel comfortable around her. And it doesn't feel right hating a nine-year-old girl when she's come all this way just to protect me. I know you were tormented by Hayase for a long time. Your feelings are to be expected. You are experiencing a common human defense mechanism. If you're upset by the current situation, you ought to build up some immunity. What immunity? Approach her in just small intervals of time. It'll be painful in the beginning, but you'll soon overcome it. It will be an arduous task because you don't know her very well yet. What do you want to do, Fushi? I woke up early so I can make us some boats. The only way to get to the next island is by rowing. Of course. Thanks for doing that, Fushi. I'm sitting here. Yay, <laughs> 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 we got one! Let's have it for dinner, Fushi. Uh, no thanks. But I caught this fish for us. Hey, Hisame. You should go somewhere to have a doctor get rid of that creepy thing. What? I told you I don't want to. You're still so young. You don't need to have someone or something controlling you yet. I knew you'd be a kind person, just like the book said. You mean over there? Yeah, it was attacked a month ago. If you want, I'll go down and take a look for you. Huh? You're scared that more knockers are going to show up and attack again, aren't you? I've heard something like that might happen. You'll do that? It's part of my job as a guardian, to always provide you with support. You wait for me here, Fushi. I should be back by this evening if I'm quick. Thanks for doing this. <sighs> of course! She's late. Maybe... The village is still in a bad state. 
It's too late. People are already dying. <clears throat> Shut up. Hey, you over there. Are you here to check up on the village that was attacked recently? Uh, well, I... Because we are too. It's troubling, isn't it? We're here to give aid to the village, and we've just got some time for a short break. It turns out that some corpses had emerged from a nearby graveyard. Everyone's evacuated already, though. Only a few villagers remain. <clears throat> How many people have died? There are six dead, and 33 people have been injured. Uh, uh... So tell us, when did you get here? This morning. That's very strange. I thought the knockers always arrive uh... when you do, Fushi. You know who I am? Of course I recognize the white-haired immortal. You're famous, you know? We hear rumors about you everywhere. I had no idea. I've been on my own for a really long time now. Yeah. There was this silly little girl who kept blabbing on about you all day long, and she told us your story. Those guardians are like your fan club. They go into the city every day to talk about you. I guess they're trying to gain more believers by talking about you. You'd better be careful, though. I'm pretty sure they just want to own you. I heard that! Oh my! I was just talking about you! You better not be bad-mouthing the Guardians! Who are you two, anyway? We're doctors. We've been treating the wounded in the village since the attack. Oh, I see. Thank you. Um... I told the village elder about you, and they insist that you use their room. We can all stay there tonight. Perfect! Uh, Let's go uh, grab some dinner uh, together. Thank you so much for treating us to this wonderful meal. If it'll make you like the Guardians more, I'll provide as much food as you'd like. <laughs> Why do you need me to like you? You already have plenty of believers, don't you? Yes, we've gathered a nation's worth of believers in the past 40 years, but we can always use more. We need even more people to learn about our goals so they will join us one day. The more believers, the better. I don't know. It looks to me like your organization is simply obsessed with the bragging rights that Fushi belongs only to you. That's a misunderstanding. This man's been hiding on an island for the past 40 years because of what the Knockers have done. Our duty is to free him from his emotional prison and to give him a place where he feels like he belongs. <laughs> Your work so far has involved capturing Fushi twice and being frustrated when he got away both times. Do you want him to feel like he belongs or that he belongs to you? You know a lot of the folklore. We didn't capture him, we gave him shelter. All we do is protect Fushi from the unknown, and we also protect the people from him, another unknown. Those two things are the sworn goals of the Guardians. Hmm. It looks to me like there haven't been any grown-ups around to take care of you for a very long time. That kind of talk is completely uncalled for! Uh, if I may. I really don't care about any of this stuff. The past is the past. I don't care about it anymore. Anyway, Doctor. Are you able to remove this mass? That thing... That thing is alive, isn't it? It's amazing that you survived with that, Hisame. I'm feeling a little bit thirsty. Shall I make you some tea? Yes, please. Make enough for the others as well. Yes. Hey, Fushi. Have you ever heard about the legendary silver bat? No. There were people who ate it long ago, not realizing that it was poisonous. Being Thanks. the idiot I was, I wanted to try some myself. So I swallowed a little bit of it, like a grain of sand. It made me nauseous and hurt so much, I thought I'd die. But I did it once every two days, and eventually it stopped affecting me at all. After that, I ate a larger morsel. Suddenly, I felt like dying again, but I kept eating it for a whole month. Then I ate an entire bat. Once again, I felt like I'd die, but I kept eating one a day for a month. So I assume you ended up all right. Western Morning Glory. That's a flavor that takes me back. May I have some more? <laughs> I became curious about other kinds of poisons, so I tried them out as well. Seed frogs, sea keelback, bitter turnips. I've put all kinds of things in my body over the past 40 years. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. The reason I did all that is to remind me of the past. You see, I've been poisoned several times. And I don't plan on being poisoned ever again. Here you are. Thanks a lot. No matter what you try, I'll always recover. <laughs> this tastes like... a Bane Lotus Tea. In half a minute, you lose your ability to speak, and in a few minutes, you're dead. The Takunaha would often use this poison to kill Yanome. 
It's been used against me as well. That's about 30 seconds. I'm still talking. Seize her immediately! People who have been poisoned are strong. Whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Tenori. Fushi. An ever-changing sphere. Nice to meet you. I'm Hisame. Fushi is met by those who want to take him. Hey, you over there. Along with those who seek to stop them. People who have been poisoned are strong. Whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Tanari of Jananda. Here on my shoulder is a three-talent owl. I've had it since I was a kid. Its third talent seeps out poison. I've been taking in a little each and every day. I found out later it's similar to the poison of Western Morning Glories. <laughs> You're Tanari the Owl Girl. You're in my grandmother's book. Why are you here? Aren't you supposed to be leading the island of Jananda? My friends are taking care of it for me. Since I had some unfinished business here. And now that we've bumped into each other, let me give you a warning. You'd best stop following Fushi around. I can't. You see, Fushi belongs to us guardians. The guardians, huh? There are many of you in Jananda, too. I figured I'd let them be, so long as they weren't harming Fushi. But... If you're with the Knockers, that changes things. You got that? <laughs> the Knockers are a threat, not just to Fushi, but to you as well. You would never hurt me! It's my dear friend that's been passed down to me from my mother and my grandmother before that! I know you think this woman is very scary because she's trying to kill you. But don't worry. I'll always protect you. Don't you see it's taken over your mind? Hold still. I'll take care of it quick. <laughs> Fushi! Fushi! 